Welcome to Die Trying. Build something new. I'm Patrick Norton. I'm Michael Hand. Week two, last week we showed you basically how to get the speakers inside of the suitcase. Well, it's, it's a vintage suitcase boombox build. Last week, again, we showed you how to get the speakers inside the case. We wired it up for AC. Yeah, it was a little messy inside. It was a nightmare <laughs> inside. It looked like the flying spaghetti monsters noodly appendage had vomited inside of the suitcase. And cardboard and duct tape everywhere. Yeah, it, 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 you do what you gotta do to get it running. This week, we're gonna show you how to make it battery powered, how to charge it while you're running it. We clean up the interior. Yes. And well, there's a couple secret things left to watch the video to find out about. I don't know about them. <clears throat> so first, we cleaned up the wire quite a bit. We Got rid of all of the unnecessary stuff, kind of shortened all the wires, added quick connects, some spades to make things a little bit easier. Um, we like clean connect. Well, actually, you refused to let me put spades on these because you yeah, wanted to Yeah, it was taking fast. too long. Because it takes, what, five seconds but to But it's one? screwed down, it's fine. <laughs> so we did that on some of them, sure. This is not to NASA wiring standards. I just want to point that out right now. Who cares about NASA? <laughs> Government funding doesn't. Uh, <laughs> so another thing we added was a little 3.5 millimeter jack so that we get it plugged straight into the outside of the of the right. case. So we don't have basically, we no longer have an AC power cable or the phono jack running through the hole in the side. So we just bought a panel mount, soldered it into an old RCA cable, and now it's that's how it's attached to the amp. Uh, and then we got serious about power. So we went through some evolutions on this. Um, I started out with a sealed lead acid battery because they're inexpensive, they're everywhere, they are sealed so they don't leak fluid. Um, you can actually technically, I think, carry these on a plane. Can they you? are so safe. Hmm. <laughs> so I didn't really want to go with that for two reasons. One, I have an irrational fear of sealed lead acid batteries. Don't know why. I have this uh, image of them just exploding. Right. For whatever reason. Also, doesn't it take a really long time to charge them? The one that you saw here that took a really long time to charge wouldn't charge because it was dead. It was, mm. it was long past its, its freshness date. But yeah, they will take a while to charge. They will also generate heat, and we're not really thrilled about the idea of a lot of heat inside of this case. Yeah, especially we experimented with polyfill a little bit, which it probably won't catch on fire, but I imagine it'll at least melt. That said, if you have an uninterruptible power supply in your mm -hmm. house, there's a battery like this just bigger inside of it. Okay. I'm just saying. All right. So instead of going with sealed lead acid batteries, we went to with lithium ion because I figured it would be easier and it would give us the opportunity to charge and to play music at the same time. This is an Energizer Energy to go. It's basically an XPOW lithium ion battery. Um, it's pretty simple. It runs 19 volts to charge it. It's got a USB output. It'll run 12 volts, which is what we're running through the Lapai amplifier. Mm -hmm. There's also a 19 volt output for laptops. Um, but what's really cool is it does all of its power management and we found out we could charge it and draw from it at the same time. Yeah, so that made it really easy that we added a charging port, just another panel mount here that went straight to the charging port here and then I think it was an end size connector, and then we just had another cable going straight to the amp. So basically, nice, really nice thing about this, made it really easy to mount because it's so light, yep. uh, and we got a little crazy with the Velcro. Uh, but well, it's in there solid. We should be able to get it back off eventually. There's a lot <laughs> of Velcro on that. So we're pretty much done with the build now. There's a couple tweaks we did, right? We, we grabbed a bunch of polyfill, or, or this is an old school subwoofer speaker tuning trick where about a pound of polyfill per cubic foot that uh, tightens up the low end, makes the enclosure behave larger as it, than it is. I guess by slowing down the airwaves, I'm told, there's all sorts of strange theories. But the end result was it, uh, it picked up the low end, it tightened up the low end, it made it much punchier. And I put a little bit of material every few inches all the way around the rim, and that actually stopped it from vibrating. Yeah, that helped a lot. Especially when you turn the volume up. Yeah. Thinking about turning the volume up, you might want to think about turning the volume up on... Audiobooks. Audiobooks, I love audiobooks. One of the great things about being in the shop is firing up an audiobook. Go to audiblepodcast.com slash DIY and get your learning on while you're using your hands. You, you love these things. Yeah, even if you're not in the workshop, one of my favorite memories growing up was that we would take road trips mm -hmm. and instead of listening to the radio, we would put on audiobooks. And that's how I learned a lot growing up. And uh, hey, audiblepodcast.com slash DIY, get yourself a free book and support Die Trying while you're there. Should we try it out? Absolutely. Show people the, the freedom of <laughs> battery power. There's nothing. Uh. <laughs> Takes a second for it to spool up. 
Hold it above your head. I can't. <laughs> I can. I can do it. It was like an Olympic event. There seemed to be playing your eyes. <laughs> cool. So hopefully that answers Jesse's question. Uh, I think going lithium ion definitely simplifies yeah. Everything. Well, because it's sort of a complete charging device. If we had raw wired lithium ion batteries in here, because basically the lithium ion battery pack we had has, you know, it's an intelligent battery. It shuts off if there's too much heat, it shuts off if there's too much power, it manages the voltage regulation. You can't just plug a power supply, you know, it's like, oh, I've got a two amp power supply and a battery. I want to plug the two amp power supply into the battery and charge it. It doesn't work that's so well. That's what I wanted to try at first. I was like, we have a 12 volt charger. I was like, just, no. That's why I'm afraid of them. <laughs> Well, it's, it's, there's nothing to be afraid of. You just need to do it right. Okay. Or die trying. <laughs> if you're on YouTube, comment down below. We want to hear about your project. Send us an email, die trying at revision3.com or post at die trying on Twitter. And subscribe to us. We're on iTunes, die and probably other places. Like YouTube? Meta Cafe. YouTube, youtube.com slash die trying. That's Please. probably a better place. And thank you so much. <laughs> See you next time. <laughs> I have wires. On this episode of Die Trying, we find out whether or not we managed to obliterate several hundred dollars worth of audio equipment, actually about a hundred dollars in used parts in an old suitcase, or created the ultimate portable festival Etsy friendly kind of, where am I going with this? Don't know.